Hi Windows Experience, today I'm going to rate Windows versions. So as a Windows Experience, it's just like very logical to do this video because I just like knowing about the Windows versions, of course. After 8 years being a Windows expert, I can give you uh, Windows versions from worst to best. Uh, from my opinion but also from uh, reviews uh, of the customers okay microsoft released 30 ver version operating systems i can only count windows versions as non-beta versions or not servers and i'm going to rate that from 10 to 1 so some versions will not appear in this video let's start with the number 10 and number 10 is windows millennium edition windows millennium edition is released in 2000 of course because it's like a millennium edition and why i put this operating system so low there was just like a lot of expectations of this operating system of course because it was like the millennium edition but the only features that are just like newer than it's like the predecessor of windows millennium edition is just like uh, the restore function and also some new applications so nothing very special these features make just like the operating system just like more slow because the restore function was very new back then and they just like reduced the level of speed of windows in Edition so bad just like known as the worst operating system that windows of just like microsoft leave on number nine we have windows vista windows vista is released in 2007 and it is like very noticeable that Windows Vista is like released six years after the uh, predecessor Windows XP. Because of the long journey of Windows Vista, you can check the video in the description below. And it is like a lot of things yeah, went wrong yeah, that project. Yeah, 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 yeah. One. They just like renew it like very, just like reset the project so much. And you can also see uh, Windows Vista is also just like very, very different than the Windows XP one. Windows XP is also very different, but Windows Vista is like the arrow user interface, which is like very nice to see. But don't get me wrong, because like the, the appearance is nice, but the security is very bad. Like there's just like no user account control, which is very, uh, yeah, very important and also just like in this new, uh, cyber attacks and uh, internet uh, functions back then in 2007 so the operating system itself was very slow because of the low security and the uh, easy getting viruses on that operating system on number eight we have windows 8 it's very appropriate windows 8 8 yeah okay windows 8 and windows 8.1 because that is a little a little upgrade so i just like count it as one operating system that microsoft has released this is like very funny because this operating system just like came very randomly on the market they wanted to introduce the tablet uh, user interface that is just like very easy to use for uh yeah also tablets but it was like very bad for computer users and also the, there was just like a lot of generation that didn't know what the tablet was and they just like introduced this operating system which was not a very nice upgrade from windows 7 so people just like keep using windows 7 and they just like felt like mm, Windows 8 is like a very bad operating system in that way. It's just like very uh, not easy to use. And the touchscreen and also the colors is like very playful. Just sometimes I like very playful and just like missing something like a business. On number 7, I place Windows 95. Windows 95 is just like released in 1995, of course. And it just introduced a new text bar. And this new text bar was very nice, but I think people didn't know how to cope with this. So they just like, I saw it just like as a big difference and a major upgrade of the Windows 3.1 because the 3.1 was the predecessor of Windows 95. I think this is just like a very big upgrade for that and for the personal users because people uh, just like barely using computers and back then it's just like a big difference. And also just like reduce the speed of the operating system because like Windows 3.1 was just like faster than Windows 95 because of this upgrade. On 6 we have Windows 3.1. Windows 3.1 is a nice operating system but it was not like 
very commercial not, not really know because people didn't knew really about this new operating system it was like it was just in the market but yeah people uh, only in businesses it was like a very good great operating system but for personal use it was like very new and also a lot with ms dos which is like uh, very hard uh, for personal use so people just like uh, reject this operating system at all and they just like just like continue their life it's just more like for the business on number five we have windows 10 windows 10 is released in 2015 Windows 10, yeah, Windows 10 is just like a little bit of the upgrade of Windows 8 and just like going back to the Windows 7 uh, user interface because like the tablet uh, uh, user interface just like failed as I said and it was just like a great comeback of Microsoft Windows and I think this operating system is very nice to use it has just like a lot of security fixes after the internet and also it is also very easy to use on touchscreen laptops which is also like a little bit of the uh, solution of Windows 8 and I think Windows 10 is very nice in upgrading their just like operating system with also with new functions and they just like combine it in a very nice level so that's why I place it on number 5 on number 4 we have Windows 98 uh, I think Windows 98 is a nice upgrade of Windows 95 which is like Windows 95 has a lot of security problems that made just like the Windows 95 a great upgrade of Windows Windows 95 and also with uh, people who knew how to cope with that bar and I think this operating system bring a lot of people on the computer on number 3 we have the most recent operating system Windows 11 Windows 11 is released in 2021 and it is just like a very great upgrade. I didn't knew this operating system was coming because uh, I knew that Microsoft was just like upgrading their uh, operating system Windows 10 every half of year. Just like on a random evening, they just like decided, oh, let's just like release a new operating system where the, just like the start menu is in the middle of the operating system, which is just like completely fine because like the program this is like more like a mac os x uh, appearance you can see but more like in the windows operating system so that's just like very fine i'm using windows 11 now for a year i think and i think it's a very nice and also just like the new icons the user interface is like very appropriate for this time okay on the second page we have windows xp Okay, we all know Windows XP is just like one of the most nostalgic operating systems of Microsoft Windows, let's be honest. This is also like a very great change after the Windows Millennium Edition, which was just like a total failure. Uh, then this operating system came with a very playful appearance with blue and, and green, just like in the graphics. So yeah, it was just like very noticeable. But also, they have just like a very better security because back then, uh, cyber attacks were just like very active. Uh, the idea was just like very fa fast expressed on the computer, and it's like this amazing project is just like very nice. I think a lot of the operating system is very memorable and remarkable. Just like everything is just like very fine there, and they also just like they have just like time to add some cartoons in it and I think it is like a very fun operating system which we need to so Windows uh, Microsoft Windows please release something funny. On the first place we have Windows 7. Okay I think this operating system is very nice. Windows 7 is released in 2009 and I totally grew up with this operating system plus Windows XP of course so I knew how it worked. I think uh, this is like uh, the best upgrades of uh, Microsoft Windows after Windows Vista because Windows Vista the appearance is very nice but the security is very bad but Windows 7 solved it and it is just like a very good composed operating system after all what i also like about windows 7 is they just like have a lot of applications at uh, which help you to get through this operating system so just like it is for all generations after that they have just like a very nice team pack when you can choose off the security the speed good uh, user interface so 
I think this overrated system is just like the best. So if you want more of these videos, please leave a comment and I will just like react on that if I have time, of course. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you the next time.